As we wrap up the gardening season, it's time to start putting away all of our tools and equipment. But before we do that, or at least through the winter months, this is a good time to maintain our tools or clean them up and get them ready for the following spring. There are many different ways to, to maintain your tools. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about sharpening them first. Uh, first, I'd like to talk about some of the, some of the bigger equipment, or the, the spades, the shovels, and things like that. They, they cut. All, any tool that has a blade on it, if it's kept nice and sharp, it's going to cut nice and clean through the plant material that you might be using it around. And that's better than tearing it and crushing and bruising the plant material because that tissue uh, takes longer to recover or heal over and it also makes it more susceptible to diseases and things like that. So we want to maintain nice and sharp tools. And so for this one here, it's, it's really important that we make sure that it's nicely secured. And we're going to stick it into a, a vice clamp here and make sure it's nice and secure because you definitely don't want this to slip on you as you're using tools or trying to get this thing nice and sharp because that could cause some real serious problems. Uh, we also want to put on our safety glasses and, and some gloves to protect us, keep us nice and safe here. Now, the simplest method or simplest form is uh, just using a, a flat file like this one here. And this is a tool that is used by making a stroke away from you across the blade in one nice long stroke. And that gives you a nice, clean, even uh, beveled edge here as you move across the blade. You don't want to do it in short little strokes like this, but one nice, long, clean stroke. And uh, a nice, hard steel tool like this, you're going to have to work on it a little bit to get a nice uh, sharp edge. Uh, even better yet, uh, and maybe a little bit quicker, are using some power types of tools like this high speed rotary uh, tool here. And this has a sanding bit on it, a, a attachment, and we can go across that blade real quick and clean that up and give you a nice sharp, sharp edge. Or, tool that I like to use of course is the the bench grinder and this also gives has that sanding stone on it and uh, you can run that across there pretty quick and give you a nice clean uh, beveled edge. Again we want to try to maintain a nice angle on it uh, especially if you can to maintain the angle that was originally on the tool when you purchased it. So let's go ahead and and try sharpening this one up a little bit. Once you've sanded that down and gotten that nice uh, beveled edge there, uh, our, our grinder here has a wire brush on it and you can run that across there. Or you can use a hand wire brush or even uh, that flat file just to take off some of those rough edges that might be along the end of the blade there. Now one other tool that's really important to keep sharp is your lawnmower blade. And this one ought to be also be sharpened on a regular basis throughout the growing season uh, because again a nice sharp blade is going to give a nice clean cut across your grass blades which again will help keep the plant healthier and, and avoid possible disease problems. So again we want to try to maintain that same beveled edge or angle that we had uh, from the manufacturer here. Now an important thing with lawnmower, lawnmower blades is obviously as you're grinding these down it's going to throw it off balance. One way to check the balance on that is to put a screwdriver through the blade and see that, make sure that it stays balanced out. Um, or you can put a nail in your bench and also use that as, as to, to measure the balance on it. So make sure you keep that uh, balanced as you continue to work on it and get those blades sharp. Another set of common garden tools are the hand tools that we use, like the, the pruners, the loppers and, and these hand pruners here. And again, same methods apply. We can use a, a flat file to help sharpen those and get those into a nice uh, clean cut. And, or the, the, uh, the power tools as well. And I like to use the power tools because it is a little bit easier and quicker. Um, now again, we want to make sure it's secured and now with a lopper like this one here, you can open that blade wide open so that you can get to the, to the, 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 play, the, the blade that you have to sharpen. Um, but for smaller hand tools like these hand pruners here, you may not be able to get that open far enough and be able to get your tools into here to, to do a proper job 
or a good job of sharpening that. So you may actually have to disassemble it so that you can actually get to that, that blade part. But again, I like to use this high-speed rotary tool and let's go ahead and sharpen this one up. The final step before putting all of your tools up for the winter is to make sure that those blades are all nice and clean now. Uh, this one is, it still has some soil left on it. Uh, of course, when you get through using the tools, if you can wash a lot of that off with water, or again, you can use some steel wool to clean it off, or a wire brush. And so we're gonna scrape this, the dirt off of here. Get it all nice and cleaned up. And you know, as you're using your tools and you clean them all up, uh, you should dry them off after you, if you've washed them off with water so that you can help prevent some of that rusting. Um, so we want to try to knock some of this rust off. You can also buy some rust removal products for your tools as well. And then for uh, like these shovels, uh, we actually have this bucket of sand with some used oil mixed into it too. And we can shove these shovels down in there with the blades and get some nice film of oil on those. I'm gonna wipe some of that up here on the upper part of it. That'll help protect it from rust and kind of preserve it through the winter until we're ready to use it next, next spring. You can also use oily rags, or again, you can put some oil on some steel, uh, steel wool and, and wipe that onto your blades and get them all nice and clean and ready to go. Now also check, this is a good time to check the handles, uh, especially your wooden handles, make sure they're in good condition. If they're worn or broken, good time to replace those. They also recommend to, on those that are worn out, worn out a little bit, sand them down and, and then wipe some boiled linseed oil on them to protect them.